Alright, thank you so much for tuning back in to another reaction video. My name is Chris. My name is Sam. And we are Offset Era. Woohoo! We! Alright! <laughs> and as you've seen in the title, we're bringing back The, the warning. warning. And this time, we get to check out 21st, 21st Century, Century Blood. Blood. This one's the live version at Dakota. And if you're just tuning in, this is our live reaction series from that entire performance. We're going through every one of the songs in the playlist. Yep. I don't know which one this is exactly, but you'll see it in the playlist as you go to look at the rest of these if you're just joining us. Yeah, I honestly kind of lost count. <laughs> <laughs> I just know we're not done yet, and I went back through the playlist, and yep. we do have at least a couple weeks left of this, so we will continue trucking on. Uh, we will mention we did see the video for this song. Uh, and if you recall, it had some messages about like being tied into your phone and it, like everyone was like getting unplugged and then they would get killed and mm -hmm. stuff. And it had like a really cool message. Uh, I did find some more information about that video after the fact because it was, you know, all of your lovely comments that kind of informed us where, you know, where it came from and how it came to be. Uh, the video did learn, uh, win a certain amount of awards. Uh, it was actually crowdfunded. I didn't realize that, and that's why they had the, such a nice big budget to come out with that nice. first song. So, very cool that they were able to draw on their fans to help pay for the video. It's always a smart thing to do, especially if you're a you know somewhat popular band. Today we get to actually check out how they pull it off live. It's been a while since we've heard the song, so it might be kind of fresh hearing it for the first time again. But I'm sure once we start listening to it, it'll, we'll remember how it kind of went. So we, since we've checked out the song, we don't really need to look at the lyrics. Let's go ahead and jump into some of these comments about what you guys think of this performance if this was 1983 and mtv still played music videos this would be aired all the time and the warning would be mega stars that's ironic considering they just played at the vmas <laughs> <laughs> well that's all the comments from five years yeah, ago they didn't so. know that was ever coming man <laughs> they'll get there even without that help oh, keep rocking course. Well, they like I like I said they they just played the PMA, so I think I think they they're may... helping MTV to be honest. Yeah. yeah, well, MTV would help themselves if they actually you know started playing music again. Yeah, or had any kind of music related content other than live stupid reality shows. I was like... yep, I was just about to say that. Uh, I think I, th I think we can all agree. Where that's where MTV went wrong. That's awful. Anyways, uh, this one says I'm in love with the warning. Their music rocks, especially their live performances. I have to agree with that. Yes. Yeah. One of the best live versions of this great song. Okay, I can't wait to check it out. What else we got? Love this performance. A primary example of how good the warning are playing live. Yes. Oh, warning! You are amazing. Keep up the good work. <laughs> uh, keep up the hard work, ladies. Amazing job. Thumbs up. Oh, and I think with that one, we can go and jump into this. And welcome to the channel to anyone who is jumping in with us. Yes, welcome indeed. No splashing in the shot. No pla no splashing in the deep end. No diving in the shallow end. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to the ool. Notice there's no P. We'd like to keep it that way. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right no, all right enough swimming jokes <laughs> <laughs> you're not new to the channel <laughs> if you're not new to the channel then you know that we're chock full of swimming jokes but you also know what time it is what time it is because we're not going to mention the playlist this time we're it's, just going to jump right in it's time for the glorious the epic transition. it's getting crazy up in here <laughs> All right, and we're going to rewind to the beginning. In the All beginning. Right. Back in the void with the spinny circle of death. I just got out of the void. <laughs> All right, here we go. Without further ado, 21st Century Blood. Uh, the warning live at Dakota. Here we go. Here we go. And space bar. Yes. It worked. Oh, yeah, I remember Ooh. this now. How groovy yeah. it was. And that... Tom sound. Yeah. Nice little running lead. It's very difficult to play at the same and sing at the same time.
bass and drums and vocals. Yeah, that's gotta be tough. She's not even looking at her fingers. You see her going with the pinky there? That's pretty big stretch on a bass. Yeah, I know it's a short scale bass. Yeah, but still, the but, stretch, you know, ooh. using your pinky to stretch like that on on a bass, whether it's short scale, you know, because the strings on a bass guitar are so thick. Yeah, you know, you know, even you know, some, there's, you know, I'll admit I struggle with you know, I don't using use my, my pinky on a bass. I don't. You know, I struggle. Over. I mean, I'll use it on like the, you know, I'll use it on the higher. I'll, I'll use it on the D and the G string, mm -hmm. the higher strings. Or if I'm doing like or, or, or like up on or higher up on the neck, but um, yeah. but you know it's it it's it's still a struggle though. It's not natural. And it does not feel good. <laughs> so good for her. She got some big hands. I think she's made for the bass. Be honest. Hey, yeah. See that? What a big old stretch. That off flawlessly. Yes, yes, they did. That was great. <laughs> All right. All right, we can flip back over. Woo. Yeah, I I think it was for them for recording it in a way that they could pull it off live because I didn't even, I don't recall them doing a whole lot of overdubbing or anything, and that's really yeah. very tempting to do with the three piece. Yeah, because you only have one guitar player. Yeah, like add like a add like a whole wall of guitars. Which I do anyway. I, yeah, I feel like if you're gonna do it and you're gonna spend some time on it, I mean, obviously. Yeah, you know, obviously, you know, you want to make it. You want to make everything as big as you possibly can. Right. But you know, at the same time, whatever it is you do in the studio, you have to be able to replicate it live. At least a little bit. You know, a at least bit. at least to where you know. The song yeah. is recognizable. At least to where people yeah. recognize the song and, yeah. they're, and they're like, and they're not like, what the hell were you guys doing up there? Was that... You know, you missing something? You missing a guy or something? <laughs> All right. Yeah, he's doing. Yeah, he. Yeah, he has two guitars and once in the. He has two guitars in the studio and one guitar live. So, <laughs> and unfortunately, he's not Doctor Octopus. So. I wish. All right. Well, that was 21st Century Blood. Can you imagine if there was two of you. <laughs> I don't think we'd get along. <laughs> God forbid there was two of me. Uh, yeah, I think, well, we would, no. I think we would have killed each other. Oh, I don't know. We'd have a lead bass player and, an, and another lead bass player. Yeah. <laughs> or you'd have a lead bass player and a rhythm bass player. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that was our reaction to 21st Century Blood. Make sure you stay subscribed. We'll see you next week with some more... Uh, the warning, but as we make continue sure you... through this uh, yeah. series of live at the Dakota, at the Dakota Bar, right? We have a extensive playlist of our reactions to the warning, as well as a playlist of their Lunario performance of Queen of the Murder Scene. Right. So make sure you go check that out if you haven't done so already. But we are Offset Era. We are two thirds of Offset Era. That's it. We are a three piece punk core band based out of sunny Southwest Florida. That's right. If you're curious as to what punk core is, we have a full playlist of all of our original music. Yeah. And for about, it's God, I can't believe it's been seven months, but right. seven months now, we've had a new, our most recent EP has been 
kicking it on YouTube called A New Era. Mm -hmm. Six all original songs. Very heavy, very varied, very fun to play. Yep. And we're hard at work at a follow up. Yep. Uh, and I think we might want to mention that we're DIY. Yeah, uh, we don't have any kind of company behind us. We yeah, because I, I saw one of the one of the bands that we played with a few weeks ago asked, you know, he, he you know, he was like, hey, I, you know, I, I listened to you guys' new EP. You guys sound great. Where'd you guys record? I'm like, uh, Chris's home studio. <laughs> so it's just been doing it for a long time and finally got good at it. Yeah. And, you know, the more you do something, the bet the, you know, the more you persist, the, you know, the better you get, just you know, naturally yeah, over time. But uh, so, yeah, the, so that's uh, that's another thing that we kind of know, you know, as 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 musicians and as we get to comment on these on these reactions is we know recording, we know production, we know what it takes, uh, we know what how things are done. We know how things <laughs> what things are done to make things sound good. So we can kind of pick that up sometimes yeah we have a show coming up we that's have right show. We were, just when we thought we were done they pull us back on stage sunday mm -hmm. december 31st new year's eve we're going to be at ali's pub records and beer there you go it's going to be us uh ichinen dave javu cody autism fox hell of a project <laughs> and social infants yes good friends of ours as well another yep. pop punk band at least not just we're not alone on this bill even though we wouldn't consider ourselves pop punk anymore at this hey, point i was gonna say like you know about, yeah. about a year or so ago you know we could be classified as pop punk with some with some metallic in there some ska some you know some groovy hip-hop stuff in there right it's, it's a whole different beast now than it was two years ago yeah and we're enjoying the ride yes we are so. this uh this is kind of like a second wave you know so I, I think at first it was like a little bit of like a weird shift you know to like see like what we could incorporate into the offset but still make it sound still make it recognizable to people that know us and they know our music and enjoy our music and i think we've been largely successful at it all right i think that's it for this one thank you so much for liking commenting and subscribing let us know what you want to see in the next one we'll see you then we'll see you there peace out